Praise the Lord for today's devotion. Let us turn to Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 25, 21. Luke's Gospel, chapter 24, verse 21. But we trusted that it had been He which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things are done. Here we see the account of uh, two people walking to Emmaus. Jesus is risen. It's a brand new day and age. The first day of the new world rose with uh, him. Two people in unbelief. Same day of Jesus' resurrection. They are walking to the village Emmaus. At this time, disciples were all shut in one room due to fear of Jewish people. We read in John's Gospel, chapter 20, verse 19. These two men also were afraid of Jews, but they were leaving Jerusalem. They are walking away from Jerusalem and from the disciples, not believing in the resurrection and walking to Emmaus. They were walking and talking together of all the things that happened in connection with the crucifixion of Jesus. While they were talking together, the risen Lord himself drew near them walked alongside with them, but they did not recognize him. Their eyes were not opened, and Jesus did not reveal himself to them. While walking with them, Jesus asked what were they talking about and why were they looking sad. Verse 18, we read, they were surprised at his question. They asked Jesus, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? Not knowing the things happened in our days. Again, verse 21, they continued the same saying. We believed it was this Jesus who was crucified. It is the third day since all this happened. From their talk, we can sense their disappointment and loss of hope. In their mind, Jesus was dead and they did not see him risen on the third day as he said. They were thinking if what he said were true, they would have been able to see him risen by this time. They were still in doubt. They didn't see it happening. So, they did not believe because of their unbelief. Their hope is gone. They are in utter disappointment. They are going in the wrong direction because they did not believe in the word of God. When Jesus was alive before his crucifixion, they heard him saying about his death and resurrection. They did not believe. They did not understand. They are going in the wrong direction leaving Jerusalem, leaving other disciples and walking to Emmaus. Fear and anxiety mounting in their hearts. Then peace and hope of meeting their risen Lord. Dear sisters, my listeners, let's not get into this kind of uh, Satan's trap of a fear anxiety and doubt. Let's believe in the word of God and trust him fully so that we can have a victorious life with our risen Lord. Amen. <laughs>